for me, the artists that are really significant throughout history are artists that expand the definition of art or of art making. And Warhol expanded it so widely. He just made art. Every single thing he did, he was at a party, he took a Polaroid, that's art. He had a bunch of people making stuff for him in what really looks like a capitalist process, and that's art. Him expanding that definition, it was a gift handed to every artist who came after him. I'm Jennifer Rubel. I'm an artist based in Brooklyn, New York. I basically started doing these food installations that were massive undertakings and technically complex and completely ephemeral. And I started feeling nostalgic for these pieces that are just gone forever. So I began thinking about non-ephemeral work, work that lasted longer, work that I didn't feel nostalgic four or five minutes after it happened. And that is a road that ends at painting. That was a riddle inside my head, painting when you're not a painter. The project, put most simply, is me posing nude in my studio, hiring contemporary painters to paint me. And they signed this very extensive contract that makes those paintings 100% mine, not only physically, but the intellectual property is mine, and most importantly, the authorship is mine. So they're my paintings. I wanted to be as vulnerable and uncomfortable as the artists working here, and then also I wanted a consistent line through the paintings, which is being the subject matter. Making sure that people understand how these paintings came about is a part of the project. Someone documenting me posing for painters or making work that will end up being my work is a part of the project. But at the end of the day, those paintings have to stand on their own and stand up for themselves. And it's very interesting, the relationship between that and the factory. The factory was this major cultural act. However, Warhol's paintings just stand alone, and they have to.